This comedic video may or may not fall under fair use law, but bullshit law which I damn fully understand. All I know is that YouTube and several of their content creators don't require by this law, so I'm just gonna go with the flow. Your discretion is advised as this video contains brutal truths and heavy usage of the word shit cat. Hey, Drainbows, it's Joe Vegan here. We've got some breaking news. Vegan Gains addressed the utter hypocrisy that is Freely the Banana Girl in his most recent video. And in classic Richard style, he destroyed her recent criminal behaviour in 10 minutes flat. But first, Fully Raw Christina shows the world just how accessible it is to be vegan. Okay, so this is just one refrigerator in my home. I actually have eight. Eight bloody fridges? Is she harboring organs? I'm not gonna show you all eight because the other ones basically just have watermelons and greens in them. Yeah, and body parts. I'm telling you, Joe, keep an eye on this shit. I go through a lot of greens. Like, I buy maybe two cases of greens every week, so that's more than 24 heads of greens. If you are non-vegan, I'm sure I don't have to tell you that Fully Raw Christina is wealthier than most people, and although her diet is vegan, it isn't mainstream. Ciao, ciao. Did you hear about the Rotal 4 shit cat who wants to snip babies' nets? What? <laughs> nah, surely that's gotta be bullshit, or something that happened in Adelaide. I wish they gave me a vasectomy when I was born instead of circumcision, that's for sure. Wow. I think I like this guy. I think I'm gonna offer him a job at the door. Any idea who this shit can is, Joe? Yeah, he's the guy who ate some cheese and threw his phone. What? The man who ate cheese and threw his phone? Yeah, that's what everyone on the internet knows him as. Fair enough, shit can. And Vegan Ava enlightens us by answering the much anticipated question, what does vegan food actually taste like in Asia? It tastes very like Asian. And the headline, Vegan Gains calls out Fraudly the Banana Fucker and Mummy in his most recent video. What do you mean Vegan Gains made a video? Don't you be lying to your daddy. Yeah, well, we'll just tell everyone he's a druggie. What do you mean people ain't gonna believe that? We'll just, we'll just tell everyone he's a jealous hater. More subs? What do you mean he's got more subs? It's the views that count. What do you mean he's got more views? An undertaker would say, job well done. <laughs> As I'm sure many of you are aware, Vegan Gains recently released a video on his channel addressing Freely the Banana Girl's recent criminal actions. In his video, he lays out the recent developments we have all been following lately. From freely stealing content from the Get Upset Girls and receiving a copyright strike on her channel, to her, Jurian Ryder, and Ava calculating the speedy takedown of Vegan Cheetah's channel, Richard covers all. In the video, he shouts out the Get Upset Girls, the Vegan Cheetah, and Isla Mazard, a man who suffered defamatory and slanderous statements at the hands of Harley, clearly setting the record straight that Richard does not support this criminal behaviour. He urges Freely and Jurian Ryder to wake up and realise the harm they are doing. Yeah. Like that's gonna happen. Figsy and I don't agree on everything, but she's right, Richard. That's not going to happen. So a word of advice to Richard would be, watch out. These people will stop at nothing to be the biggest thing on YouTube. They will take any channel down that they perceive to be a threat. You are a massive threat to both of them. You haven't always had my support and we don't always agree on everything, but I have never doubted for a second that you are a true asset to this community. And I'm not sure why I'm nude and touching myself whilst I talk to you, but, um, yeah. And my question for Freely is, are you really comfortable being known as the vegan who takes down smaller vegan channels? I challenge you to do the right thing and make a public apology video on your channel. I'm not sure how much good it would do at this point, as I believe you've done lasting damage to your brand with your most recent actions, but... It is the very least you can do in the name of decency. In light of his most recent threats to take down my channel, my message to Harley is, are you comfortable being known as the guy who took down the YouTube channel of a vegan who wants to build an animal sanctuary? Quit the fear mongering, quit the bullshit, stick with what you're good at, the cycling videos, and make a public apology on your channel to the thousands of people you've harmed. What are your thoughts guys? Leave them down below. Don't interrupt daddy, eat plants, and see ya!